When cooking your favorite foods, you likely use different oils for baking, taste, or maybe just to keep the food from sticking to the pan. The engine oil in a Supercross bike is also very specialized. The function of oil in an engine uh, is really threefold. Uh, it's required to lubricate, so we're looking to separate and reduce friction between moving surfaces. Uh, it's also in there to clean and keep it deposit free, as well as cool the engine. Yeah, it's one of the few things you can simply pour in the engine and make power. It creates such a boundary layer and makes everything almost slipperier. That boundary layer helps reduce the friction inside the rotating and reciprocating parts and helps create power inside the engine. In a typical car application, you have specific fluids that would lubricate the engine, the transmission, the gearbox, differentials separately. In a motorcycle, it's all combined as one. So it's kind of a compromise. It's a give and take of you want good boundary layer for the moving parts, but you don't want so much that the clutch is going to slip. In the same sense, you can't have so much durability that you have no clutch feel. A motorcycle oil is very specialized, and there's some specific appetites. Horsepower ratio per liter, elevated temperatures, elevated RPMs, lean angle of motorcycles that might cause foaming that you don't have in a car. The Pro Plus that we run is the same Pro Plus that consumer can buy, but it's all worked closely through the race team. It's often thought of that pure racing oils do produce power, but they may wear out parts or engines, but the reality is they really don't accept any kind of issue as far as markings or wear. We were always looking for increased performance, but not at the cost of durability. Normal weekend riders like myself or you can enjoy the benefits of that technology.